In the paranoid times leading up to the war, new vaults were being constructed every day. The ancient temples of war known as Norad became the home for Vault Zero, a storage place for the cryogenically frozen geniuses of the time. The calculator was built to be a mixture of machine and man, a gestalt of mechanical switches and human brains linked through a cybernetic interface. Supposedly, representing the ideal society, these brains were to govern the higher functions of the calculator, powering its neural network. The calculator was designed to oversee the repopulation of the continent in the event of a war and educate the new humanity in the ways of the old world. But first, it was to sterilize the land, making a fresh start for the soon-to-be-emerging citizens of Neo-America. For this task, the calculator had at its disposal an army of emergency pacification robots that were designed to survive the Holocaust and surface from the ashes immediately after to begin their task. But a mechanical malfunction left the calculator damaged during the years since the bombs dropped. Mankind had to find its own ways in the darkness of the post-apocalypse. Only now is the calculator activating its robots and embarking on its mission of mass genocide. Because of hardwired programming, it is unable to adapt to the world that has arisen while it slumbered. The calculator will not listen to pleas or threats. It cannot be bargained with. It must be stopped. 